Hello, Olivia here. I'd like to take you through a lying spinal rotation exercise. To contextualize, the first version of a lying rotation that we would do would be on a flat surface like this floor. And the key aspects would be that you would have the shoulder pinned to the floor and you're working to take the top leg and hip across as far as you can. The next version of that that can be done on the floor would be the opposite. You'd have the hips fully rotated through and then this top arm would go back. This version on a flat surface like this floor is best done with a partner because it's actually quite difficult to keep this hip completely rolled through. So you'd normally have a partner pinning you, sitting or with a hand, and the partner can also then help with the moving back of this shoulder. In the COVID era, we've been downplaying the partner versions and I've been working on trying to find solo versions of what used to always do with a partner and have the same intensity. And this is what we're doing today. I am going to do the version today up on this pile of exercise mats. If you don't have access to something like this, you could use your couch, you could use your bed. So, hop up on your support lie on your side and to begin with support the weight of the head here on this arm then bring the top leg up and allow it to come through so that the knee is dangling off the edge of your support and the foot's just there don't go so far to begin with you don't want to feel like you're going to fall off the support the beauty of this is that the weight of the leg is now holding the hip rolled through you don't have to make any effort then this arm comes up and reaches through. Then when you've got a bit of a reaching force here, shift this elbow through a little bit further because that allows you to get the ribs to move through and reach around. Once you're in this kind of position, it's not any kind of problem to let the leg go through a little bit further. You won't feel like you're going to fall off because of the reaching of the top arm and shoulder. Breathe and relax comfortably. Ask yourself, how could you make your spine even longer and straighter? So a little bit of a lifting force through this bottom arm allows you to move the ribs through and you're doing your chest up movement to make the spine as long as possible. And then the top arm is actively reaching out and down to pull the shoulder back. Breathe as deeply as you can into as much of the torso as you can. So imagine there's a hand here, say, and you're trying to breathe as deeply to expand the ribs there. Similarly in the front, similarly in the back. That's a very, very powerful solo rotation exercise. To come out, bring this arm down and slowly roll yourself back. And then, of course, you do the other side. Quick reminder of a key principle in stretch therapy. Whenever you can make a comparison of one side to the other, if you notice one's tighter than the other, the next time you come back and do your practice, start with that tighter side, then do the looser side and do a second go on the tighter side. That's a really good way to even up through your body over time. Okay, see you next time.